All right, hello everybody. Welcome to yet another first play impressions video. This one is called Go Fetch. All one word, no space. It's created by Digital Dog Games. And uh, it says, who's a good dog? You are. In Go Fetch, you get to be the dog and go fetch the ball. Race through different terrain and mazes in a variety of unique maps. Get the ball and bring it back. Many different uh, dogs with different colors as well. So, let me get this right. I mean, I know that I've had several dogs in my lifetime where I've thrown a stick or a ball and had them go fetch the ball. But at no point in my life have I ever said, damn, you know, this would be a lot of fun running after a ball and bringing it back to my owner. I've never wondered what that experience would be like. But hey, here we get to play a game, and I gotta also say, I've never played a game where I get to be a dog fetching a ball. So, I guess you and I are in for a truly unique experience here on Steam. Now, this game does come in at $3.99, and the developer and publisher, Digital Dog Games, it, yeah, it looks like this is their first title. It came out back in August. And they have another game they're planning on launching in late 2019, Make Zombies Great Again. Ugh, that's worth checking out, right? Oh, wow. Um, more Unity assets of zombies. and I feel like I've played this same game looking at this. Uh, I feel like I've played this exact same thing like hundreds of times here. Uh, I can't honestly say I'm looking forward to this, but hey, at least they have ambition, right? I think I'd rather play the dog fetching game than this. I'm just saying. Anyway, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and play Go Fetch and Go Fetch Some Balls and let you know if I think this game's worth your $4 in U.S. currency or if it's just an utter pile of dog poo. We'll be back right after this. Wow, it's pretty loud. Let me turn it down a little bit more for you guys. Very loud. And uh, it doesn't look like you have any options for turning the volume down. But hey, we get to choose a dog here. We could choose whatever kind of dog we want. A beagle. Okay. A border collie. Different kinds of border collies. We got a bulldog. We got a chihuahua. A bull terrier different kinds of each breed. A Doberman, okay. We can be a Pinscher, a German Shepherd. We could be a Labrador Retriever. That's gonna be a popular one, right? I can't rotate him or anything. Um, yeah, I mean, that kinda looks like the standard Labrador. We can also be a Poodle. Do they have my dog at all? A Pug? No, they don't have my dog, St. Bernard. Well, let's just be a, um, let's just be a Labrador. That's a popular dog. Uh, adopt a dog, zero. All right, so we've done selected this dog right here. And, uh, I can still change it if I want. Okay, select. And it looks like I have zero doggy bones. Options, here's our options. All right, okay. All right guys, so in our options we have difficulty, we have easy, normal, and hard. Easy mode, there's a sparks emitted from your ball to help you find it better. Uh, to pick up the ball, all you have to do is run over it and you'll automatically pick it up. Normal mode, uh, how come it says 
I just selected normal mode. It says normal mode right here, but it says in easy mode. All you do is run over the ball and automatically pick it up. I think they meant to say in normal mode right here. You might want to change that, Mr. Developer. And then hard. Yeah, like this one says in hard mode, you'll not have a mini map, but you'll get better rewards. No, let's go ahead and stick with uh, easy, I mean normal mode here. Let's go back. Uh, we can change our dog if we want to. We can play options. We have a video. Uh, you have a lot of different resolutions. Video quality, high, full screen. All right, let's go ahead and go back. And uh, let me, okay, let's do something here. Let me go to video and let me turn full screen off. And in fact, let me go ahead and go to like 16 by 900. That way, I know a lot of these games like this, if I move my cursor off the screen onto my second monitor, it'll cause problems and cause my game to minimize. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna set it windowed mode. And, uh, yeah. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and go back here. Let's play. Alright. Can I stretch this baby out? I can. Excellent. Alright. There we go. Why is my dude, uh, why is his skin green? Like, yeah, why is the dude's skin green? Do I got a zombie owner here? Okay, WASD to move. Get him the ball. Okay. The... The dog is not... The dog is not, um, walking, but, like, sliding. You guys see the slide? Oh, there he goes. He starts kind of running there. Alright, so right mouse button is kind of what changes my camera, by the way. So you can take a better look at your dog. I like that. Alright, it said I would automatically get the ball if I walked over it, so can I, like, pick up the ball, please? There we go, I got it. See? Look at that. Right click and I can see the ball hanging from my lip. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's so hard to control when you're looking at a different angle. Alright, here you go, Mr. Owner. Yay. Alright, he threw the ball right over there. Boy, this is tough. Um, do normal balls have, uh, smoke emitted from them? Alright. Boy, this is fun. What a fun game. Oh my god, wow. The, he threw it a little bit further. Boy, this is exciting. Alright. Oh, I'm having the time of my life here. Hey, don't go in the water, Mr. Ball. I wonder if it will roll in the water. Let's check that out. Um, it's clipping through the fucking the dock here. Oh, if it goes in the water, I'm probably screwed. I wonder if I can swim. I'm just watching this ball to see what it does, guys. Wow, it's exciting. Oh, okay, I can I I can just float through the water. Hey, eh? see? The question is, can I get my ball now? Oh, I can. Okay, thank God. Alright, so it's just based on X, Y coordinates rather than the Z height. In these games, you have X, Y coordinates and then usually Z is the last letter of the alphabet that is a, uh, like your height. There you go, buddy. Boy, I can hardly wait to, to run after this ball again. Oh my god, you threw it in like exactly the same spot again. Wow, this is uh, super fun. Alright, maybe we should play a harder difficulty level or a different map or something. What's over here? What is this? Go to location one. Oh, that's how we change locations, okay. Hello game. Um, okay, you can see that it's kind of locked up right now. I assume it's loading. Oh, game loading, yep. Look at all those different languages saying game loading. Alrighty then. Oh boy, this looks like fun. Oh god, you got like a maze here. Your skin is still green, bud. 
You might want to have that checked out, Mr. Owner. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, so we're down here at the bottom left on the, uh, on the little map in the top left. We can see where our ball is, and we just gotta work through the maze. Oh, fuck. Okay, over here. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Could you imagine trying to look at it the, yourself from this angle so you could see yourself better and then trying to work through this maze? I guess it can be done, but it'd be a lot harder. Alright. Alrighty, uh, wait a minute. We're not get, we're gonna be blocked off if we go this way. There should be an opening right here. There you go. Alright, and then... Oh, the game just locked up. Yep, the game is completely locked up, you guys. Clicking on it does nothing. I can't move. Um, game? Yeah, see, so you can see that the counter's not even moving. The timer. I still can't move. I can't even move the window. I think the game's locked up. Well, that's a bug. That's gonna hurt the uh, controls and bugs on this game. The fact that the game just completely locked up. Okay. Well, that sucks. Let's go control up delete here. Yeah. The game just crashed for no reason. All right, I think we're back, guys. I want to go ahead and let you guys know that uh, this particular game did uh, crash my computer, and I had to hit Control Delete to bring up the uh, you know the Task Manager. And I looked when uh, I did, and that window said that my CPU was only using like 20% of my CPU, but my physical memory was maxed out at like 99% all 16 gigabytes of my physical memory on my computer was maxed out with this game. Uh, was able to close the game, took a while, but now we've relaunched the game, so it looks like this game may have some massive memory leaks. Uh, so that's not good, but we're gonna go ahead and try it again. Maybe it was an OBS game issue. Uh, I have switched my OBS to start recording from the game capture rather than capturing my monitor, so hopefully that'll help. But let's go ahead and uh, we still got our Labrador, so we're going to go ahead and select him. And we're going to go ahead and play. Um, hello? Yep, we're waiting again. I guess it's loading. Yeah, see, this kind of stuff doesn't look very good when you hit play and you have to wait so long. Alright, so I'm not even worried about the ball here. I want to go and I want to see what different areas we can go to. We know we can go to that area with the, the maze. And we can run along this trail. And we can select, oh, a river, forest area. Okay, so we get two different maps besides this one. We have... That looks interesting. We have lots of different areas we can choose from, guys. Shift doesn't help me run any faster, by the way. Another forest area with a river. Oh, shift does make me run faster. My bad. And, uh... Wow, that looks like space. Is that... Is that space? That looks like outer space, guys. What do we got here? Man, there's all kinds of different maps. Oh, and the we got like the North Pole, location number six. Look at all these different maps the game includes. Uh, map seven? Yep. I don't even know what that is. All right. All kinds of different places. Uh, looks like metal maze on top of water. We... That is a nighttime map in the forest, it looks like. That'll be hard to find the ball, right? There's our guy way over there. Um, 
same kind of thing. Uh, a maze on top of water, location number 10. And uh, that looks like it, 10 different locations. Okay. And what is this? Oh, this is the uh, where you can go look at all the different dogs that you can be. Well, that's kind of cool. Look at that. It reminds me of a doggy pound. Adopt a puddle, uh, a poodle. You can adopt different dogs for a hundred. You just need to get a hundred bones, I guess. Yeah. See, if I try to adopt this guy, yeah, it gives me an error sound. But that's kind of cool. How you can go just look at all the different dog assets here. Hi. You look so cute. I want to get you. I want to adopt you. I don't have a hundred bones right now, but I'll be back, buddy. I'll be back, okay? I'm just sticking my head through this bar. Alright, buddy. I'll be back. Uh, that's kind of cool, though. Alright. Maybe the game doesn't have memory leaks. I hope it doesn't. Alright. Can we eat the dog food? Drink water. Oh, we drank the water. All gone. And dog food? Dog food? There we go. Eat food. Alright, well, you get the idea, right? You just gotta use a little bit of imagination. Can I go in the house? Probably not. Oh, can't go in the house. Alright. Alright, buddy, you ready? Let's go somewhere really cool. Let's go into outer space. Where was that outer space one at? I want to go to the outer space uh, place. The outer space place. I think it was way over here somewhere. You know, there was an interesting one like right here as well. This one looked interesting. Let's go here. And then we'll go into outer space and then we'll, we'll uh, evaluate the game. Alright, we're waiting. Loading. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to check out all 10 different maps. I mean, I think a couple of different maps, I think we'll get the idea. Just hope the game doesn't crash again. Alright, so he automatically just picks up the ball and throws it. Oh man, look at the, uh, look at the maze up there. This is obviously a more difficult location. We have our timer going. And look how far away he threw the fucking ball, man. You can see how much smaller my arrow is. Oh my god, I gotta go all the way down to the bottom right. Man, he threw the shit out of that ball. Oh my gosh. Can I go through here? I can't get through there. Man, this is tough. Alright. You know, this is a cool game. This is a pretty cool maze here. Alright. Right back. I went right back to my guy. Damn it. I got no ball. Alright, let's uh go this way. Because our ball is down this way. Let's see. Follow this path a little bit. That map is so small it's hard to see where I'm at. Like I know I'm in a maze, but like looking at my um looking at the mini map doesn't really help me because the walls are so close together hard to plan out where I'm going but I mean if you like mazes I think you're gonna like this game if you like dogs I think you're gonna like this game and if you love dogs and mazes I think you're really gonna love this game yeah so we just gotta work our way to this ball if we can boom, boom, boom. I can see like kids playing this game and then saying hey and telling their sister, you know, I found the ball on this maze in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. See if you can get it faster. The competition, you know. Sibling competition. Um, that rock almost looks like a little heart. That rock right there. See? Little heart. Little heart for you, doggy. Alright. We're getting kind of close to the ball. Like, will I be able to get there from here is the question. Or did I take the wrong path from the start? That's the question. Yeah, see, I'm going the wrong way right now. I don't know if I'm ever going to get there from here. Alright. I actually like the fact this game has such complex mazes, though. 
I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty damn cool. Yep, yeah, we came to a dead end here. So we went the wrong way. Um, I wonder if there's a way just to immediately go back home. What's this? Yeah, that just puts me right back home, okay. That was a tough maze, guys. Let's, let's go somewhere a little bit simpler. I wonder if the outer space is even gonna be harder because it was like further down the road. Like that that place there was like huge mazes there in the whatever the Grand Canyon looking rocky desert. Space was over here, I think. This big yellow looking thing. Yeah, I wanna see what this one looks like. Oh, how cool. Man, the mesa is, isn't quite as big here, but uh, what the hell is that red thing? Oh, that's just a planet. It's a planet circling the, uh, the sun. How cool. Planets floating by. How cool is that? And like a glass uh, floor where you can see space down below you. That is so cool. Yeah, I think people are going to like this game. Alright, the ball's over this way somewhere. We just got to figure out which one of these paths to take. Um, oh my god, this is so hard to see with these walls being like, like see-through like they are. Yeah, that's the, nope. Yeah, that is a dead end. Yeah, I can't walk through that. Oh my god, these these walls make this really difficult. I'd almost rather this game have like solid walls here. Um, okay, we got an open area here. Uh, let me look here. If we come here and we go that way, that way, my cursor is kind of disappearing. Okay, we need to get, we need to get here. Come back out this way. Okay, it looks like we can get through there. Okay, so if I go right behind me and I come up this way, I'm looking at the mini map guys, by the way, to kind of to tell where I'm at. Uh, let's see. I need to take an immediate right. And then I need to go over here. Yeah, I'm having to look at the mini map to figure this out. Because trying to look at these blue walls and figure out what's solid and what's not isn't helping at all. I come up here, I go left, and then I take an immediate right. And I go as far as I can, and then I should take a right somewhere. Right here, I think. And then. Yeah, if you're trying to do this on a really small monitor, it may not work trying to do one of these complex mazes, because I feel like you're going to have to look at this mini-map to ever get to the ball. And then you're going to come right, and we should be able to get the ball right over here. Where is it? Where's the ball? It should be right in here somewhere. There it is. It's just hanging out in mid-air there. See, look at that. Wanna, where is it at? There it is. I mean, it looks kind of weird looking at my dog right now, but when you move the camera around, you can kind of see, hey, he's just standing on really clear glass, and uh, the only thing weird about it is the ball is definitely in the air. All right. Now bring it back. So now you just got to work your way back and bring it back to uh, your owner, and he'll throw it again. And then you can race for the ball again. I assume it'll reset the timer when he throws it again. Alright, this way. Yeah, this way. I can hear him saying, come on boy, come on boy. He's yelling for me, he's excited for me. He's like, come back. Okay, so we gotta go this way. And we gotta take a left, like right here. I think. Uh, is that right? Did I go the right way? I think so. Uh, 
Oh man, come on boy, I hear him. Oh, wrong, trying to go through a wall here. Maybe this way? Oh, no, I'm running the wrong way. Damn it. Man, this is so hard. Okay, hang on. Uh, I think this is the right way? Oh my god, I'm so lost. Yeah, there we go. Alright. These purple, like, uh, see-through blocks are really difficult to maneuver through. Okay, and then our dude's right over here. Hey, buddy. I got you the ball, man. Yeah, it looks like he's, uh... There you go. So it tells you your time, tells you the difficulty you did it on, and you got I got a hundred bones for that. So now I'm halfway... I, I, I got half the bones I needed to adopt a dog. Isn't that cool? So we hit continue, and we're right back home again. Because our home is right there. So we've got an achievement for completing that map. And then we can pick a new map, or we can just have him throw the ball here. But it looks like if... It looks like if he throws the ball here, and we go get it and bring it back here, we don't get any kind of uh, reward here. Yeah, see, we're going to bring it back. I don't think we're going to get any bones. We're not going to get any reward here. Yeah, see? So you've got to go to one of these other map locations to get... to, uh, to get a reward. And then you can adopt a dog. Guys, I think this game is going to be pretty fun. I actually like the fact that it gives you so many different locations and the mazes are pretty complex. Uh, the one thing I would change if I was a developer in that outer space map is I would really make those those purple, do something with those purple uh, walls that you can kind of half see through because they're so confusing. I think it would be so much better if those were just, uh, if they were just solid. It'd make it so much easier to navigate. You know, uh, the only way I was able to find the ball was using the mini-map. And if you have a smaller monitor than my 23-inch monitor, it might be really difficult, especially if somebody's using, like, a 17-inch monitor or something. Yeah, they might have a really hard time even seeing that mini-map. I know I went to that other place, and the mini-map was so small, I couldn't even tell where I was going. So, um, a couple of suggestions for the developer is, in the space map, make those walls make the purple walls solid so you can kind of see where the hell you're at uh, another suggestion for the developer is i like the maps that you have and i don't know if they're randomized or whatever but if it's a really complex maze like see this one's not bad you can leave that one as it is but like in the really complex mazes you might want to make that mini map just a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit bigger on the screen, so that people can kind of see where they're going. That's just a couple of suggestions for the developer that might help players out. All right, so we he threw the ball, and this one's really easy, guys. I mean, this map's really easy here. We're just gonna work our way over here. Let's see. Yeah, we should be able to get there from coming here, coming down this way running over here and then we should be able to take a right and the ball should be right in here somewhere uh, looks like the ball's like right in the wall you threw your ball right in the middle of the wall man no let's go around this way we okay I think kids are going to like this game more than... There it is. I see it. You see it's right on the ground there, guys. See? Right there. Bring it back. Okay. Come on, boy. Oh, the game's freezing up on me again. Oh, damn it, man. Why is this game going to do that? Alright. Why is the game freezing up on me now? That's something I'm gonna... I don't want to have to take points away from this developer for this game freezing up on me, but I think this might be the same map that it froze up on me before. I had no problem in space, but for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the textures on this map or what, but something's causing my game to completely freeze up on me. You can... yeah. 
All right, here we are in the game, guys. I want to go ahead and make a couple of important notes here in the game. Uh, these are pretty critical notes. The developer just recently updated the game to version 1.2.1. So if that is still the current version when you're looking at this video review, uh, the last update, October 29th, just a few days ago at the time I'm recording this, the developer addressed a uh, performance issue where a couple of users were uh, reporting that their computers were locking up and lagging out big time playing the game. I have had extreme lag in at least one of the maps in the game as well. So bad that it locked up my computer for many moments requiring me to uh, forcefully shut down the game. But I believe this game has massive memory leaks. So when I finally got my task manager open because the game was just like not responding. I saw that only like 22% of my CPU was being used, but 99% of my 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM was being used, and it was causing my system to just completely slow down to a halt. I mean, it took me several minutes to open up Task Manager and get the game shut down. This has happened twice now, and this is after his recent update, which supposedly addressed this performance issue. I have a good gaming computer, certainly a good enough computer to where it should play this game and no problem. So I think it's important for you to note that, that this game may cause a massive slowdown and bring your computer to a, basically to either a crawl or a stop. That is not good. So um, let's go ahead and, and re again guys another thing to the developer i'm just going to go ahead and be pointing out things to the developer that i think he needs to fix one thing you definitely need to fix mr developer is your game does keep track of your resolution and video quality it seems like it keeps track of that fine and memorizes it but one thing it does every time i launch the game it automatically defaults to uh, full screen you need to make sure your game remembers that i don't want it in full screen i want it in windowed uh, because I run two monitors and a lot of times when I run games like this in full screen if my cursor goes off the window it'll cause my game to minimize and yeah not good so your game needs to remember if the user has selected full screen or not and uh, next time they launch the game if they have windowed selected you need to make sure the game remembers that that's just a note to the developer can I get it back to him in under three minutes that's the question I think I can do it. What do you guys think? Oh, we gotta go. Not that way. We gotta go this way. Yeah, watching your mini map definitely helps. Alright, where are you, buddy? Where are you? Where are you, Mr. Owner? Oh, you, go to the, you gotta go to the little black house. I went the wrong way. There he is. Hey buddy, look how he's cheering for me. Yay. <laughs> he's happy for me. All right. And so I got 35 points, guys. Yay. I got 35 bones, rather. Now I can go adopt a dog. Let's do it. So we are waiting, kind of loading. Yeah, so this location here seems fine too. So it's just location one that I have a memory leak on. I haven't tried location six, seven, eight, nine, or 10. Uh, so just a warning, you may have memory leak problems on one of those locations, I don't know. All I know about is location one, stay away from it until the developer fixes it. All right, game, come on, let's load. Yeah, there seems to be a little bit of a long loading time as well going back home in some of these uh, from some of these maps yeah this load time is a little bit extreme here all right guys so unfortunately the game locked up again trying to come back home from location number three so Location number one, if you even go to location number one, you're gonna have 
a high risk of the game just completely locking up on you and then just trying to go back home so I could adopt a dog uh, coming back home from location number three after going and fetching the ball the game completely locked up on me and I had to restart it and as you can see I didn't get to keep my 35 bones that I'd already been rewarded so this is bad so as much as I like this game as much as I love the mazes in the game this game right now needs work so right now this game is not a complete game in my opinion it should not be being sold for any amount of money on Steam it is three dollars and ninety nine cents in American currency right now uh, I like the idea of the game I hope the developer can fix these memory leak problems that's going on with the game uh, if you do buy the game and you play it the sad thing is even if you don't you know even if you're able to exit the game or whatever I would highly suggest that you reboot your computer after playing this game before playing any other games or before doing anything because I firmly believe this game has memory leaks. That is very, very bad. So maybe I'll come back to this game in the future. I'll watch for updates and see if the developer can fix these memory leak issues, or these optimization issues causing the game to crash. But right now, guys, I have to give this game a fail. Uh, I hope that the developer can fix these issues and I can come back and play the game. Uh, again, developer, please look at all the issues that I mentioned. Uh, look at the, you know, the video. Look at this full screen. Remember, you know, the game remembering full screen or not. Uh, remember the mini maps. Make sure you have a nice contrast in color so the walls are easier to see. Make it so your cursor doesn't fade in and out. So you're like, even right now from the main screen, my cursor is fading in and out. That shouldn't be happening because sometimes you're going to want to use your cursor to kind of track a path. So many maps should have a nice contrast in color between the walls and the background. Fix that. Uh, fix the, the cursor blinking in and out. The main problem to fix though is fix these memory leaks and these optimization issues causing you know computers to come to a crawl or just complete you know completely bog down your computer. That's a huge, huge problem. I'm afraid that's massive memory leaks. So you have memory leaks in your game or in your code somewhere that need to be fixed to the developer. Uh, another thing I saw, some of these maps are really, really complicated. So on the really, really complicated maps, even after you fix the other issues I'm talking about, you might want to think about making the mini map even bigger just so people can kind of work out a path and be able to see it easy, especially if they have a smaller monitor with some of those map sizes and the complexity of some of your mazes. I like the mazes, keep the mazes the way they are, but just maybe make the mini map a little bit bigger, especially for the bigger, more complex maps. So right now, guys, go fetch as much as I want to like it, as much as I want to give this guy a review. I simply can't. This guy is, suff I mean, this game is suffering from massive memory leaks and optimization issues that could bring your computer to a basically to a, a crawl uh, this, this game could basically kill your computer uh, so it gets a fail right now uh, I'm not even gonna give it a score I'm not gonna give it a zero because I think this game deserves more than a zero but right now it's just a memory leak fail so stay far far away until the developer fixes this game and I'll come back at a future date as long as the developer puts out another update for the game and see if he's actually fixed the issues. So hopefully the developer could work with this video. Hopefully I've pointed out some things for him to fix and we'll see if the developer takes enough pride in his game to actually fix the problem. Thanks so much for watching everybody. This has been Zaxter99. This game gets a fail right now. Take care everybody. We'll see you in the next video.